Have you made any plans? Take an overdose, slash my wrists, and hang myself. All those things together? It couldn't possibly be misconstrued as a cry for help. It wouldn't work. Of course it would. It wouldn't work. You'd be too sleepy from the overdose. And then too tired to cut your wrists. I'd be standing on a chair with a noose around my neck. If you were alone, do you think you might harm yourself? I'm scared I might. Could that be protective? Yes. It's fear that keeps me away from the train tracks. I just hope to God that death is the fucking end. I feel like I'm 80 years old. I'm tired of life, and my mind wants to die. That's a metaphor, not reality. It's a simile. That's not reality. It's not a metaphor, it's a simile. But even if it were, the defining feature of a metaphor is that it's real. You're not 80 years old, are you? Are you? Or are you? Do you despise all unhappy people? Or is it me specifically? I don't despise you. It's not your fault, you're ill. I don't think so. No? No. I'm depressed. Depression is anger. It's what you did, who was there, and who you're blaming. And who are you blaming? Myself. Oh dear. What happened to your arm? I caught it. That is a very immature, attention-seeking thing to do. Did it give you relief? No. Did it relieve the tension? Did it give you relief? No. I don't understand why you did that. Then ask. Did it relieve the tension? I thought you might do this. Lots of people do it to relieve the tension. Have you ever done? No. Far too fucking sane and sensible. I don't know where you read that, but it does not relieve the tension. Why don't you ask me why? Why did I cut my arm? Ask me why. Why did you cut your arm? Because it feels fucking great. Because it feels fucking amazing. Can I have a look? Look. But don't touch. And you don't think you're ill? No. I do. It's not your fault. But you have to take responsibility for your own actions. Please, don't do it again.